So I'm talking with Annabel Chambers here at the Lisa Lowe Centre. Uh, it's another interview, uh, what goes on here, but we're timing this one because you're running this major project, I'll Listen, mm -hmm. and a video is about to be sending upon everybody, on the, well, businesses on the other yes. So while we're talking, we have a quick look at this thing, but give, give us an overview of this video and, and I'll Listen, what is mm -hmm. it all about? So I'll Listen is a project that has come about um, from one of our service users, actually, who is featured in the video, um, and it's really a campaign for children and young people on the Isle of Man and that's going up to the age of 30 so that's encompassing the workplace mental health training that we're already doing and that's really successful and has had great results that's across government and all sorts of businesses on the island already but the core principle of Isle Listen is going into schools so we're tackling mental health from a really young age so it's an early intervention and prevention service is what we're saying so we'll be going in from the ages of five um, and sort of identifying the need for children and um, doing assemblies lessons that kind of thing so it's making sure that mental health is not extracurricular it becomes part of the curriculum it becomes part of day-to-day -day life and therefore removes the stigma that surrounds it at the moment unfortunately I mean okay we're talking about five-year-olds here I mean, that, that sounds is that what, what bullying sort of mental yeah. health issues that you get at school yeah it's it's really very basic skills so when we talk about mental health it there's a huge scale for that um and for if we're going in to speak to five-year-olds it's really a basic principle being kind to each other how to be nice to each other because children seem to have lost that somewhere along the way obviously not all there are some um, wonderful children around who we see a lot sure. of them in the center but there are you know, lots of reports of bullying and social media in problems school. and having social media filming is a things. Huge issue, yeah. and a big part of it is sort of saying to children, if you are happy to type this, send it over Facebook, Snapchat, you know, any social media. Would you actually happily sit down and say this to someone's face? Mm. Because it has the same consequences. Just because you're not saying it to someone's face doesn't mean it's not hurting their feelings. And I think that's that's a big. A big thing you can kind of hide behind your computer or your mobile phone your iPad you can become a keyboard warrior as they call it and it's discouraging that and taking responsibility for your actions I think being nice to each other and helping each other out when you need it really this is amazing it's starting that five but there yeah. you go that's when people are getting their yeah. first interaction with the computers I suppose. it's when they're first interacting with computers when they're first interacting with other people a lot of the time you know yeah. some kids won't go to nursery and that kind of thing so if they're then coming into this class of 30 odd children it's it's the basic social skills that um, aren't always so apparent these days mm -hmm. because we live in a world of technology. And technology, using this video, you're showing the centre and, and what goes on and people yeah. talking about what you know, they're experiencing and what they can do, is that right? Yeah. What we think are two of the biggest assets of our service are the building we do it from, which is amazing and we love it. Everyone who comes in says, <laughs> wow, I didn't know this was here, it's amazing. And our staff as well, we're really proud to have such a good team who are really passionate about what we're doing and give people a really warm welcome when they come into the centre as well. So that's part of why we, we did it from here, so people could see the surroundings, they know the faces that they'll come across as well. Um, it's an introduction to the staff and a little bit about the roles that they're doing as well. Because the event's starting in, later in the year, but you're sending these videos out to what get some awareness and uh, funding or whatever yeah. is it? it's to raise awareness um, to garner some interest as well, because as a charity we always need volunteers um, and and lots of people are passionate about mental health and we would love to have the input of as many people as possible it's a community project and that involves having the community on our side and working with us um, and there is always as a charity we do need funding mm -hmm. and again as it's a community project we'd love for the community to fund it so if businesses can can make a donation relative to their size um, that would be amazing and then they're part of this project which is going to make a huge difference for the island's mental health best place to go is your website if, if they want more information or have yep. received the emails i know you're emailing a lot of people aren't yeah you? we're sending out a lot of emails <laughs> yes. um so if it one doesn't reach you for any reason and you'd like to to receive it you can go to our facebook page and contact us through there and um, we all get that so we can respond pretty quickly and you can also go onto our website or send us an email or give us a call okay and um, it's july is it actually the launch? yeah we'll july come back and do first. more about it then i think yeah, yeah. The w it'd be great to do a lot more um coverage because it's a really exciting project and i think people can be really interested in it as well